Welcome to the tutorial how to connect PowerCenter 3000 to the MindSphere app PowerMind. As precondition, my PowerCenter 3000 is completely configured with the project, devices and it's running fine. Also my external interface is connected to a network with internet access. Now jump to the web server of PowerCenter. Onboarding to MindSphere and PowerMind only needs a few simple steps. Start with Settings, Cloud and find the section MindSphere. Here, a download called Export Project Data for Central PowerMind is available. Click on Download and get a JSON file as result. This JSON file now must be imported in PowerMind app. Let's jump to MindSphere and log in. Open PowerMind and let's import this file in Settings of PowerMind. Device file is successfully imported now. And all my devices contained in the project are available here. Here I can select which device I want to import to PowerMind. Let's select a few devices. And have also a look to not supported devices. This device is imported in PowerCenter as generic Modbus device and this is not possible to import to PowerMind. So we have to exclude this device. Finally, click on Create Devices. Import and creation of selected devices is now complete and we get a response file as answer for MindSphere. This response file finally must be imported in PowerCenter. So switch back to PowerCenter web interface and find the settings import cloud data from Central PowerMind and choose file. And here we will find the response file and say open and import. Finally, ensure that the MindSphere service state is enabled and set to auto start. So let's enable auto start and start MindSphere service. We see MindSphere connection state is changing to uploading, and we also have a MindSphere tenant and a MindSphere asset ID active now in PowerCenter. So everything looks fine. And switching back to PowerMind we find a list of our imported devices. Actually, the communication is not active because this takes a few minutes between the import and the first communication. And a few moments later, we will also find some values in our charts and can now use the complete PowerMind app. Also some additional information, how is it possible to offboard and remove a device from PowerMind? First step is, go to your Power Center, Cloud Settings, and check the settings for offboard. After offboarding, also the communication is stopped. In the case that your power center is not reachable anymore, you can skip the step and directly go to second step and offboard the device to the cloud. This step finally must always be done. Coming to our home screen, selecting Asset Manager, And 
search for our asset. Here only one asset is onboarded, selected and scroll down to mind connect lib and open this object. Go to settings and say offboard. Go back to main asset and like you see on this icon here there are some sub assets available. Now we have to delete all of these sub assets This must be done for each object. Let's then go back to main, select again, and delete asset. then it's completely removed.